Hello folks, welcome to Mr. Herbert Science Class. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of science, a little bit of history. Uh, it all started for me uh, back when I got my first counter-rotating helicopter from uh, Harbor Freight, believe it or not. And uh, this is the first one I got. Second one, same thing also. This one was called the Airlark, kind of rotating. Okay. My first video on YouTube is on, on the Airhawks Helix and Reflex Yes. Then after that, then these became the rage by Harold. Well, in the store yesterday, I couldn't help it. I saw this uh, called a sharpshooter missile launching helicopter, glowing missiles. So with the black light on, I want to see how the new technology actually works compared to the old stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. I brought some tools because I know it's pretty hard sometimes to get these things open. Here you see some of the helicopters that I've had since the good old Helix and Reflex days and even a few antiques from before then. You know this little Airhog Stinger flies with a very lot of left turn in it. Maybe it's just mine but the trim knob does not fully allow the helicopter to fly in a straight line. I just can't get it enough right. While well, drawing on my experience from my other helicopters, and then in order to see if there actually is an easy fix that I could pass on to you guys, I had to open the transmitter to see what I would do. Well, it seems <laughs> these are always the same. One, I don't like the spring in there. No real helicopters got that. You can't let go of it and go over here. And this trim knob, this trim knob turns all the way around. There's no way to know where you're at. And uh, it's turning all the time. So I'm going to take the spring out and uh, see if I can tweak it up somehow. Well, this is the throttle stick, and I'm going to go ahead and just remove that spring right there. Well, this is an interesting setup in here. This trim pot is actually a three way switch, it's all the way to the right, all the way to the left, or centered. And uh, it doesn't work really well. Mine is just spinning all the time. Got to put the marks on. So where it flies, where I'm getting the most right, is this way. That would be, actually, if you were to go all the way around, right there. So that's where the maximum is. Now i got to figure out where I can add that resistance. It's pretty tough, though. I crashed it into the walls over and over, and the only thing that happens is one of the pitch links usually pops off one side. It easily pops right back on, but it's a good idea to check it after it crashed. You know, there's no way to keep it from spinning left on takeoff. You just have to simply punch it and then wait till it starts flying. Well, 
to keep it from falling over on takeoff or landing, I drilled a small hole in the skids where it looks like there should be an axle and pushed in a small carbon fiber rod. I also gave it and the missile some orange fluorescent paint for more visibility in the black light. And when it's blinking, it's charging. Now the thing that's kind of cool about this is I can unplug this and turn it around, turn it on, charges that way. So the plug is uh, the same. <laughs> you know that's going to be so cool. Okay, it's all charged. Let's fly it. Okay, I told you I'd trim the blades. Here's the deal. The, the helicopter is wanting to turn always the body counterclockwise. So that means the top blade is creating too much torque this way. So what I did was just simply cut off this much on each blade with the scissors to speed up the top blade and not cause so much torque. And uh, as you'll see, that fixed it. Also, it continually wants to tip over to the right, so I have extended that t uh, little landing gear skid way over, and it doesn't tip over now. Okay, you saw my modification. A tiny amount, eighth inch or so, off the wing tip of the top. That'll make it uh, want to turn to the right, and my trim now is centered on the transmitter. Let's see how it does. Well, yeah, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think it's best to hand launch it. You know? <laughs> yes, that's perfect. And the 
parents may not make a bad Christmas present for somebody this year, especially for only 29 bucks at Kmart. Besides, my kitty loves to chase the missiles.